All right, first we're going to check our big fan. So, so the one corner that's common between the between the radiator and the fan. See the other, the other fan holes over here, and then there's the other radiator hole. Then we're using one of these long screws. Actually, screw the fan in all the way into the radiator. So, I'm going to sit on this frame, and then this is going to go through here. And then this screw is going to go through the radiator. You see, there's enough sticking out. I'll easily engage the radiator and work that way. And then for the other ones, we're going to be using these uh, these self-tapping screws to screw into the fan this way. So we'll go ahead and try that. All the holes are lining up here. Yeah. We'll go ahead and attach that. Well, t yeah, well, I'll just attach one, and then we'll try the other fan, too, so. We'll attach this one in the corner. We'll attach the rest later. Let me get a screwdriver and we'll attach these. I got my screwdriver, so we're gonna, I took the rubber bumpers off, because it'll fit flatter on here and there'll be open the air leakage around our um, adapter. So we'll screw this in, this corner in. All right, so that one's in. This is pretty flush here, it's fine. There's gonna be, you know, a little bump here probably, but um, the, uh, it, it, it'll, it'll be fine. Because I mean, the radiator's not a flat surface. So, so they're gonna, the screw fits through fine. We can put the other two screws in later. Now let's check our small fan adapter. Here's our, uh, 92 millimeter fan. So this is going to be going like this. Make sure the wire's in the right orientation. So. You're going like this. And then this wire is going to be going off to this side. Here. So let's, this doesn't have any bumpers, so that's fine. You don't want them anyway. And then this, again, this long screw fits fine, and there's plenty of threads here to engage the uh, radiator. And then our holes lined up, so let's screw this one in. That's a nice tight fit, and uh, I think it's going to work great. So I have to try to see how it fits in the printer itself. That shouldn't be a problem, but we'll just check it out. So, all right, I think it's a great project, and hopefully we'll wrap it up with the new fans and have better cooling on our uh, our CPU cooler. So again, air flows this way toward the uh, label. So from the bottom up, it's going to be in the top of the case up on top of, <coughs> screwed into the uh, cooler. I think I want to point out real quick, especially on this small fan, <coughs> you notice I left these other op other parts open because there's still going to be air, there's still going to be uh, a fan on top of the, of the radiator pulling up. So we don't want to block these other areas so that air can come up to the, um, through the cooler being pulled by the other fan. Same thing with this one. I mean, this does have much. This has very little room on the outside. But I did leave these slots here for some air to come through from pulled from above. <coughs> uh, I needed to put something here because uh, otherwise this little bit, uh, area here would be too thin. Like you notice over here, I added a little bit of material here. That doesn't even block the fan at all in this case. So I added a little material so that. Um, uh, the fan, and also down here I added the material. But this, this uh, joint here wasn't too uh, flimsy. So, Okay, it's time for the final hardware modifications for our computer midlife crisis. So here's our, the main purpose was to get this graphics card in here, which I just took it out temporarily to show you something. So we have two new fans we're going to be putting and push on our uh, 
AIO radiator that we replaced on top here. So as I said before, there's not enough room for full-size fans because the CPU power cord is in the way, and these these uh, could probably reroute these, but uh, this um, little frame here gets in the way for a full-size fan uh, on this uh, because these are this is a uh, 140 millimeters wide. So we 3D printed our adapters. So here's the 120 millimeter fan that's going to go up here. There's enough room for that here. And then over here, the CPU power cord takes up a lot of room. So we, I got a 92 millimeter fan. We printed a fan adapter for that. And that's going to go up here. And there's just enough room for it. A little hard to tell. When I, I take the radiator out, I'll be I can show you better. All right, so we need two new fan headers that we're not using for these um, fans because this is a uh, sixteen hundred RPM fan. I was, my original idea was to hook it up to this one, but this is a fifteen hundred RPM fan. So I don't I I I, I don't want to hook these two fans together using a splitter because this one's going to have different characteristics. So. And of course, this fan, this is a 2000 RPM fan, so we can't, can't hook these up together, which would have been the ideal thing. So, fortunately, we have two fan headers left we haven't used. One is chassis fan three, which is down here. There's a connector right here. That's why I removed the graphics card. Uh, I had, had this, was using this before when I had my push pull AIO on the front here with all the fans were identical, so. We're going to use this one uh, for one of the fans, and the other fan that I didn't really wasn't really paying attention to before. But there's another fan header up here called H amp, which is a high amperage fan. So we don't really have high amperage fans necessarily, but I guess we're going to put the uh, 120 millimeter 2000. Um, actually, you know what? It makes make more sense to put. Uh, hmm. Yeah. Well. I think we'll I think we'll put the uh, 120 millimeter 2000 RPM fan on the high amperage fan header. Or let's see, I could use the yeah. I think what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to use uh, high amperage for the two fans in front here because this is more you know two fans running two fans off high amperage makes more sense. I've got two fans in front, two 2000 RPM fans in front. So I'll, I'll hook these up. These were also originally on the. Uh, uh, CPU uh, optional fan header. So we're going to switch this to the high amperage fan header. So we'll put a splitter on that and we'll use uh, the optional fan, CPU optional, which the fan header plugs in right up there. We'll use that for um, uh, this 92 millimeter fan and then we'll use chassis fan 3 for um, the 120 millimeter fan right here. So the CPU fans are on the uh, fans I have on top here, which I'll be taking this cover off in a minute. Fans on top here are running on are, are the two fans that are pulling on the AIO are used are on uh, the CPU fan header. And then of course chassis fan three is used for exter uh, the exhaust and chassis fan two is used for the intake on the bottom. So. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to move this splitter. All we, all we need for this fan is a uh, is a single fan. So we'll move this splitter up to the high amperage fan, and then we'll hook up the CPU optional to this, um, to that, and then we'll use chassis fan 3. <coughs> um, we'll go to this 100 frame millimeter fan, and then the... Um, CPU optional fan will be the, uh, the, the 92 millimeter fan. I think that's going to work better because uh, then um, this will be uh, directly impacting the CPU here. So let's get that set up and then we'll hook it up and see if it works. All right, so we're taking the splitter off. We'll feed it out to the back here. Actually, yeah, we'll feed that to the back and we'll feed it back in <clears throat> to the front. Now, to reach, to reach from here, chassis fan uh, three 
up to the 100 frame millimeter fan up here, we're going to need the extension cord. So we're going to install the extension cord. Right, so here's the extension cord. We're going to put this into chassis fan three. Okay, that's just going to rot right up here. this power cord, I guess. Okay, so that's that's right, right up here, so we'll get to the uh, where the hot frame on your fan is gonna be. Now we're going to go around the back we're going to go around the back and feed this splitter back through up on top here, hook up to the high, high amperage fan. Actually what I can do instead, now that I think about it, is I can just disconnect this header which already has these fans on it. So I'm going to unplug the CPU optional fans, which goes to the front, and plug that into plug it into the high amperage fan. Yeah, I don't have to reconnect anything. So we'll just get rid of the splitter. We don't need it anymore for now. Let's poke it out and get rid of it later. Okay, so now, so we've got our CPU optional header open. So all we need to do now is hook up, is to, is to remove this radiator so we can hook these fans up. Hook these fans up to and then we'll plug them in. So I'll go ahead and get that started and then we'll, uh, uh, see how it works. <laughs> 